Hey everyone, this is going to be my relax results. Someone wanted to see um, what my hair looked like when I first um, get a fresh relaxer. And the relaxer that I use is this one here, which is the Organic Root Stimulator Relaxer and Normal. This is what the box looks like. And I did it myself, so I'm about to unwrap my hair. I only wrap my hair when I um, use a heat pass. So yesterday, I, didn't, I just ran an iron through it. I didn't really go through in sections. It was late and I was really tired. So I should back up a little bit. I always take my wrap all the way out all the way around to get all the um, the wrap out. I use one of these combs because it's easier to get all the hair. I'm going to back up a little bit. And I also dusted yesterday. So I, I, I could wear it either parted in the middle if I wanted to. But that's really not a straight part in the middle, but you get the idea. This is what the results are. I didn't curl it because I didn't feel like it, so... Let me show you the back. This is the side. So my hair has gotten a, a little bit of a length added to it. So just relax. I'll scoot back some more. And I just dusted my ends. I can wear it like this if I want to. If I don't want it in my face. I wear it like this. It looks better when I wear it like this when I'm, I'm a few weeks post relaxer because I have some more volume. This, my hair is like bone straight. I relax it so it'll be bone straight. I like the, um, I like that relaxer the best because it takes well to my hair and it, it doesn't really burn. Because it's not really a strong one, to me, a strong relaxer. So, this is my results. And I'll show you the products that I used. Um, yeah. Um, when my hair is done being deep conditioned and I'm ready for it to um, blow dry, I would let my hair air dry first. So I will put this on my hair when it's wet, which is the Cantu Leave-In Conditioner. Um, the Leave-In Conditioning Repair Cream, the Shea Butter Cantu. I will put that on my hair, on my ends, and then all the th way through my hair. I only use like a dot, so I would use my middle finger, like this. Maybe that much. And then... I will put, take my olive oil, I mean not my olive oil, my grapeseed oil, and put like a dot in my hand. I don't know if you can see that, but I will just use a dot of that and put it all in my hair over the, um, over the can too. And I will let it air dry. And once it's about maybe 70% dry or 80%, 85% dry, I would then, um, I would then put on a dot of this, of my, um, Organic Root Stimulator Olive Oil Moisturizing Lotion. Love it. And then, because I will only use a dot, and I will put that all on my hair, then I would use my Fantasia. I see hair polish, heat protectant. 
I'm going to use, it's a serum. This comes in a spray also, but I like the serum the best. Um, I only use a dot of that, and I apply it to my whole head. It makes my hair feel really feathery. Because my hair is really thin, I don't have a lot of a lot of body, so it makes it kind of flowy to me. And then this is um, my elastic heat piece silk. This is also a heat protectant, but this is half. This was half empty, so I mixed it with this. This is a roller setting um, wrap mousse. But I use it to blow dry my hair and I like it. So I put that in here and I only put like one spurt in my hand and I rub it together and I put it throughout all my hair. And then I would blow dry it in sections like this and blow dry it. And then once it's blow dry, we'll just um, straighten it. And that's pretty much it. That's all I do to my hair. It's going pretty well. I would say I'm gonna add, start adding vitamins to my regimen though because my hair is so thin. I think I'm gonna focus more on trying to thicken my hair this year since it's been a year since my hair journey since I joined Kids. So I've gotten length, but I need thickness. See, it's not very thick at all. So hope I answered the questions, or if you found this video interesting. Um, I'll see you guys later.